right, good morning. Welcome to another San Diego vlog. I'm talking in between, what's that called? <laughs> Literally haven't had a sip of coffee yet. Let's make that happen. I love that this cup has a little warmer, so I'm gonna just keep it on. Jack hammering, there we go. See, I just needed one sip of caffeine. The neighbor is remodeling their backyard. I'm gonna do some emails and then probably edit later, but I need to really dye my roots, like desperately. I just recently did like a big haul video showing a bunch of new clothing and stuff and I got these pajamas in there and I love them. They're so soft and they don't have like the collar. So if that bugs you, they're the silky and like soft material without going right up to your neck. And then this is the thing that I literally never take off. It's so comfy. I wear this like 24 seven now. I'm hoping this is what I think it is. Well, we're very crooked right now. So I found this bag on Target that looked like the Free People bag dupe. And it's like a carry-on slash weekender kind of bag. Oh, uh, this is the other one I got. Not the weekender bag yet. I got some shampoo. I think this was in an Airbnb or something I was at and it smelled really good because I had added it to my cart in the past and just never checked out. And I needed new shampoo, so I wanted to try it. But I usually love the sense of the OGX. Really uh, thoroughly taped this guy up here. I still have not gone to Target since I've been back. I also still have not gotten my favorite donut place and my favorite burrito. This is wild. Usually this is like the first thing I do. It's been about three weeks since I've been here. No official burrito, only Rubio's, which doesn't count really. Okay, it smells good. It smells kind of ambery, but I don't know why I'd actually previously added this to my cart. So I'll see if this is any good. Whoa. Cool, that's cool, look at these earrings. Oh, is this a new highlighter? I almost just ordered these on Sephora, so that's very exciting. I removed myself from like almost every PR list, by the way, when I started traveling, so I'm just still on a couple. Ooh. Okay, I've been putting this off for literally like two weeks, but it is time that I finally dye my friggin' roots because I'm about 500 days overdue. My grays are growing in so fast now that I literally have to do this like clockwork every three weeks. I have root spray in right now, so you can't really tell as much, but I mean, they're they're getting wild. Let me see if I can uncover some over here for you, because I'm sure you're all um, really interested. We've got a lot going on these days. Okay, so I have my IGK. This is one of my favorites, but I also use the blue one, and that adds like a blue tint, which I don't have. I only have the black one right now. I have this one, and then I also have the Schwarzkopf. This is a blue black. I might use this one. I just got this one on sale. Love IGK. I love L'Oreal. I just kind of like switch out I don't have one that I like always, always use, just depending on what's on sale. And I don't know, I like trying different ones too. Hair dye t-shirt. Okay, just a warning. This seems like some strong shit because it went through my gloves onto my nails. So I'm using like Clorox bleach wipes to try to get it off. I was gonna use gloves when I rinse out the hair this time is because my nails are white, but apparently I needed to double glove. And also I'm using makeup wipes. You can put on like Vaseline before, which you should do. I just never do, <laughs> I always forget. But then it's way easier to like wipe off the extra hair dye. But this stuff is like on there. Sometimes you can tell with different dyes, it'll come off easier. And this is like stain on my skin. Okay, so lately I've been making smoothies almost every day and I have like a really good combo now with a bunch of good ingredients in it. So I'm gonna walk you through what I've been doing basically. So I always put in a massive pile of spinach, just like whatever I can fit in the cup. And then I love these diced frozen avocados. These are from Walmart. It's good because it adds, you know, you need frozen things obviously in a smoothie, but it's still avocado and there's good fats in here. It's a little more filling. And then usually I'll add either a full banana or half a frozen banana, whatever we have 
And then I always use frozen berries just because I feel like it's a waste to use fresh berries, but these are gonna go bad soon. We've had them for a long time. So I'm just gonna use the fresh berries today, but, but I usually just use any kind of antioxidant berry mix. I don't put in a ton of yogurt. I literally do like one spoonful just to make it creamy, add some extra protein. And this adds like a nice thickness and richness to it. And I just like unsweetened. These two I'll use depending on the flavor I want. If I want it to be nutty and add a little peanut butter, usually if I'm making one after I work out, then I'll add in these two things. Hemp hearts are really good for you. They have a lot of protein and omegas, and these are also good sprinkled on salads. It just adds like a nutty kind of flavor, and it goes well if you're making like a peanut butter banana smoothie. This isn't the peanut butter I would prefer to use in a smoothie, so if you're buying like all this stuff, I would get like the powdered PB because it's just straight like nuts. It has less, you know, this has more sugar and stuff in it, but we have a big giant thing of it. So I usually just use a tiny bit of that if I put in peanut butter. And then these two I've been adding into everything. So this I've been putting in my coffee if I don't make a smoothie that day. I don't find that has a taste and it's just also protein, but also collagen. And then this I talked about in my recent haul video at the end, but I've been loving egg white protein. If you're someone that's sensitive to protein powders or can't have whey, this is awesome because it's literally just powdered egg white and it has a bunch of protein in it, 16 grams. So this is great. I find it to be really fine and I don't think it has any taste whatsoever, especially when you're like, I mean, I haven't had a plain, but just like mixed in with the smoothie. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to pop in and thank Thrive Market. Got another box from them for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I have some of my favorites here and a couple new things to try, but if you've never heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based market. Especially right now with inflation prices in the grocery store, things are just wild how much the prices have increased. Thrive Market, there's some really good affordable options on there and deals. I love shopping the sales section because you can find such good things on like staples like coffee, olive oil, everything. And you can shop by lifestyle. So if you have a specific diet like gluten-free, keto, you just want healthier options, you can just sort by all that on their website. And there's two membership options. You can either do build monthly for $12 a month or build annually for $5 a month. So that's totally worth it. You way make back that $5 in savings. I'll put in how much I saved just on this order, but 100% worth it to me. And I've been a paying customer of Thrive Market for years and like before I started working with them. So I just truly recommend love. This one is small but mighty. This is a heavy, heavy little box right on top. This is one of not just my favorites. This is my dad's uh, favorite thing that I get on Thrive Market, the Chomps Jalapeno sticks. These are a repurchase of mine. I love the FitJoy Tangy Dijon Mustard. These are actually gluten-free but you can't tell at all. And I actually think they're better because they're like crispier. The tangy Dijon mustard flavor with the Morrison cheese. Whoa, such a good combo. And then I also got the Hatch Chili Lime flavor to try. For just like quick, healthy lunch options, I love packaged <laughs> tuna. This is actually packaged salmon, but this got good reviews on there. I also love that you can see the reviews on Thrive Market because it's not like you're just blind shopping like in a grocery store. This was not only a great price, but this is a repurchase. We actually have the olive oil over there. My mom loves this olive oil. And people comment on <laughs> this bottle all the time. It's really cool. You can just pour it out from here and it's like a modern cool looking olive oil bottle. But this is also a good just like gift if you're going to over to someone's house because people do enjoy this bottle and everyone can use olive oil. By the way, I do have a coupon code with Thrive right now. So if you haven't tried them out before, you can get 30% off your entire order. Plus you get a free gift up to $60 right now. So the link will be down below, but it's thrivemarket.com slash taylorwin. I also wanted to try this medium buffalo sauce. This got really good reviews on there and I wanna try making a buffalo cauliflower probably like in the air fryer. They also have like beauty items, home items, a bunch of different categories, pet stuff. So I picked up some new magnesium flakes to try. I love Epsom salt and magnesium flakes. It helps like relax your muscles. And I haven't tried this brand before, but love the packaging. I fly through the coffee and I usually just pick up whatever's on sale, but I've actually been wanting to try this brand for a while. I can't remember where I first heard of it, but it's the Kicking Horse Coffee. This this was a good price on this dark roast gonna try that this is a repurchase of mine just the chili and then these are little droplets like immunity tabs that you can put in your drink or whatever blueberry tangerine just like emergency probably and i thought these would be good to travel with random but i got some beets these were really good price for beets and they're just ready to eat so you could just put this with like goat cheese and arugula and it'd be a little snack microwavable rice and beans again just like a quick lunch thing this with avocado i can just microwave and 
be good. I'm gonna have Thrive Market again linked down below where you can get 30% off your first order and you get a free gift up to $60. So thanks again, Thrive Market. Love working with them because I buy this stuff and talk about them and use them anyways. Okay, the people next door are on break right now. So I have like 20 minutes to get ready and we can chit chat and I wanna try, retry some makeup that I tried in first impressions video that I think will be up before this one. But in my time, I just filmed that like a couple days ago. So I wanna use the Glowish Blur Balm again. And I do have on an SPF. I've been really liking this one. Gives a glow, but it's nothing too, much like it's a nice kind of just glass skin glow it's not too tacky it's not greasy at all it just like absorbs in like a lightweight moisturizer kind of so it's very nice but I'm gonna use a little bit of this so tomorrow I want to film another makeup first impressions video but I need a couple more things from Sephora so I think I'm gonna head there today I also have a foundation shade exchange I have to do I ordered one that was too dark and I just don't think I'm gonna get that much use out of it and it was a expensive foundation so I'm gonna exchange it for probably a couple of shades lighter. I think I'm gonna have to film it at my aunt's house though because of the construction happening here. I totally didn't think about the fact that I should have filmed over the weekend so that there wasn't construction, but luckily I can film at her place. So this is kind of cooling. I didn't realize that last time. My friend's wedding is in LA this weekend. So I'm headed there and I was originally gonna do two months, two months, two weeks in LA after her wedding just to film videos and kind of hang out in LA cause it's been a while, but I decided to cancel it because I just need a break. I need like a moving around, traveling, sightseeing activity break. And I also just wanna get like, you know, really head on videos here and get a lot of makeup stuff filmed. So I decided to cancel that last night. I canceled everything. Obviously I'm still going for the wedding, but I'll just be gone for like three nights now instead of two weeks. But it has been really nice being back here. It's the end of February. I am headed out of the country again which I'll talk about more when it gets closer. This is the Makeup by Mario foundation, by the way. I tested it in that Makeup First Impressions video. This is the second time I'm wearing it, so I haven't actually tried it fully with the sponge, but it's looking nice. Last time though, it oxidized a ton throughout the day, and it also looked like pretty makeup-y. I asked my mom what she thought of it, and she was like, yeah, your makeup looks a little cakey, and I agree. And I feel like it already is oxidizing, actually, just like as I've had it on for a couple minutes, so. I don't know, maybe I should exchange this shade too. This shade is 8N. So far I'm not like blown away. Let me know if any of you guys are like this, but whenever I go into Sephora, I feel like my makeup has to be looking good. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Finish Concealer. This is also only the second time I'm trying this one right now. I'm gonna do my hair when I come back. I think I'm just gonna throw on like a baseball hat and then blow dry my hair or do something with it. Whenever I dye my hair, I feel like it looks the shiniest and best when I let it air dry for some reason. I don't love this concealer, just doesn't do a whole lot for me. It's gonna be a big filming editing week, just back to the, back to the film and grind here. Okay, so I'm outside of Sephora right now and I'm about to go exchange these for a different shade and then maybe pick up some new things. And then I think I wanna go get some Starbucks because I haven't gotten Starbucks and I think I've only had Starbucks once since I've been back. And I might try to go find some pants for my cousin actually. I've been working on getting his wardrobe tip top and tip top shave. He just moved to San Diego and I uh, had some fun shopping for him the other day at the mall, but I wanna get him some pants too. I got everything else. <music> were like totally out of everything so I just ended up getting this bronzer it looked pretty this shade medium level five light four actually looked perfect but it was sold out but both of the foundations I'll have to order online because they didn't have any more shades okay I got a tall pistachio cream cold brew or nitro and this is new again they brought back the pistachio I asked if it was the same one because their old one used to be not super great and she wasn't sure so I want to try it to see if this is the same as the old one or if they improved it am I the only one that feels like Starbucks for sure made their tall or made all of their sizes probably smaller like this is significantly smaller than a tall used to be but cheers let's see how this is mm, okay I think that is better than it used to be actually I gotta kind of mix these but it's not quite as pistachio-y as some other places I've had pistachio coffee but it's good it tastes just more like really sweet like sweet cream I actually can't taste the pistachio a whole lot now that I'm drinking this more like 2% pistachio <laughs> okay speaking of healthy things and sugar 
I think I'm going to go get some crumble cookies because my family has never had them and one opened up in San Diego. Actually, there's probably a few in San Diego, but so I might go drive and pick up some crumble cookies so we can all have those tonight. My cousin's coming over for dinner. My mom's making like a seafood stew thing. So I figure the dinner is healthy. So maybe I offset the healthy dinner by bringing us some crumble cookies, you know? Okay, crumble cookie car haul. Wow, that's a lot of a lot of C's there. Yum. So this is s'mores. I think my mom and dad will be into that one. Reese's or Reese's. Confetti cake, which I think will be my favorite. And then a plain classic sugar cookie. That one comes chilled. We just did a crumble taste test. I think the sugar cookies are the best. They're super doughy though, which I like. You liked which one, Mom? I like the s'mores one. S'mores. Dad, which one has your... Oh, you didn't even try it. You didn't try any, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Peanut butter is super rich. I think the sugar cookies are the best. This drilling next door is literally so obnoxious. I've been going on for like days now. But I wanted to show you the lashes. These are one of my favorites. I've repurchased these. I actually just got two different sets of them. They're the Salon Perfect 692. I'll have them linked down below. I'm pretty sure you can only get them at Walmart, but here's what they look like. They're, I mean, I cut them. This is like the second half. So I make them like a little more, oh my God, <laughs> sorry. I make them a little more quarter so they're not like so full, but I just love how these look. So I ended up ordering this really beautiful bag from Target. This was really reasonable for how big it is. It's from the A New Day brand. It's this beautiful like camel color. It was sold out for a while and I kept checking, finally got it back. But this is actually really big. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but here it is next to the chair so you can see how tall it is. But it's like a weekender kind of bag. I'm going to the wedding this weekend for three nights I'll be there and I'm Pretty sure I'm just gonna bring this bag. I think it'll fit everything. I feel like a lot of weekender bags are actually like too small and then you have to end up bringing another one. But I think this will actually fit everything. And this could also be like a good big beach bag or something because it does have this like wipeable kind of waterproof feeling material. Also, you could use it as like a picnic bag or something, but it does have like the attachable shoulder straps too and gold hardware, which is really pretty. I'm watching Shannon, ShanXO's house tour, but I wanted to show you. The other night I made my, whatever you want to call it, vision board, just like inspiration for the year. Oh my God, this iPad turns off every two seconds. Excuse me. Just put some like basically inspirational photos, things I want to happen. Didn't do anything too crazy. <laughs> just notice this tab says hot girl, but it's literally a hot girl summer salad it's called. <laughs> so just FYI if you see that. But what I did is just create a board on Pinterest of some of the photos that I liked and wanted to use. And then you can just download from Pinterest directly. You just click on it and then you can do the three dots and click download pin. I don't use Pinterest a whole lot, but I do have boards if you want to follow along. I don't, I'm not on here a ton, but. And then I just made it in Canva because I did make a desktop version too, which is why it's big. And then I just kind of dragged them over for my iPad version. My desktop right now is wild because I just made a thumbnail, but here's the desktop version. <laughs> Anyways, you can use Canva or PicMonkey. I like Canva for this kind of stuff because they already have templates in here, but I did switch to the iPad mini and so far, I am loving it. It's so much lighter than my other one and smaller. This will be the perfect size to travel with. The new one, you have to get the new Apple Pencil too. So I actually just got that on eBay. But love the size. This case is awesome because it's magnetic. So it just sticks wherever you set it down like that in the little grooves. I just kept my same setup. I showed this in a vlog setting this up. So I'll link that in the eye down below if you missed that or wanna know how to do this. But here's what my iPad looks like. I might update this for the new year actually. That could be fun. All right, good morning. This week has been a bit of a rough one. Just been in bed a lot, not feeling great. Um, was up at 5 a.m. this morning, pills finally kicked in. But I'm gonna get ready because I need to film a little segment today that I've been trying to film for the last five days. So today's the day I need to get it done because now I actually leave for the wedding tomorrow. I need to pack today too and just get everything ready and get editing done. Just popped all the pills this morning to be able to function-ish today and um, 
here we go. I've been testing a bunch of different SPFs. This is another one, Korean one from YesStyle. This one is glowier than this one that I showed earlier. I like it, but it does have a different feel. This one is more like invisible lightweight feeling. This one feels kind of like a more moisturizing SPF. Also, I just forgot to put on my vitamin C serum. I normally put that on before SPF, which I need to order another bottle of. I got the Iconic Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint in the shade Warm Light. My self tanner is like pretty worn off right now, so this might be too dark. I feel like I'm like packing <laughs> just done right now. Like the amount of packing I've done in the last 15 months, I'm just, the idea of like putting things into a suitcase right now and packing is like so not fun. Well, that came out fast. I don't know what this is. I didn't really read anything about this yet. It says Blurring Skin Tint and has good reviews from what I've seen. Oh, I actually think that's a perfect shade for today. Ooh, that's looking nice. It's very skin-like. I've still been loving the NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. If you like a matte softening kind of product, you might really like that one. I feel like my sponge smells like perfume right now for some reason. I'm smelling vanilla from something. Maybe it's the sweatshirt. Oh, it might be the sweatshirt. My mom and I finished Firefly Lane, the new season. Ugh, it was sad. I hate when shows end like that. I mean, there's gonna be another season coming, but leaving a show on like a sad note is just, I feel like I need to watch some like Schitt's Creek afterwards or something. Schitt's Creek for me is that show. That's like my pick me up show, that or Modern Family. But ever since I started watching Schitt's Creek, it's that one. This Becca stuff has just been wearing so nicely underneath my eyes. It doesn't crease on me. I powder just like the outer half basically of my eye with the essence powder and there's something about those two together it just wears really well throughout the day just kind of brightening up some other parts of my face speaking of shows if you guys haven't watched this is a like docu it's a movie based on a true story it's incredible called the swimmers if you haven't seen that yet you 100 million percent should watch it it's about these girls living in syria during the beginning of the syrian war their escape and it's just so good and i like how the beginning of it shows syria i think people have a certain image of the Middle East especially, but Syria and just like hearing that, you know, what you see in the news. Syria used to be a really beautiful country from what I've heard. My family in Jordan, the mom is from Syria originally, and it seemed like it used to be a really beautiful country. So it's just so sad, but I like that at the beginning of that movie, they like showed a little bit of the life there. So if you haven't seen The Swimmers on Netflix, definitely add it to your watch list. I've been loving this blush again. It's the Tower 28 Magic Hour. It's so pretty. Just the shade of it and everything. And then I always layer some kind of powder blush. Not always, but today I'm doing Shelly by Benefit. This is pigmented, so you just need a little bit. This is random, but I keep meaning to mention it in a vlog. I mentioned it in the Amazon video, but anytime I show Parker, I get so many questions about why he's in a cone all the time. So here it is. The reason why Parker always wears a cone. Breaking news. He has a sore on his leg that he continues to bite open. The vet just says to continue to keep him in a cone until it's healed. So they've had the cone on him now for like such a long time because he keeps reopening it whenever it's off. So finally, I have instituted a new method. We have the wrap on plus the soft cone now so that when the soft cone is off, when he's eating and whatever, he can't immediately rip it back open when the cone is off for like 10 seconds after he's done eating. So, so far that's been working really well and his leg is starting to finally heal. And now when he is sitting with it off, he's not like immediately ripping it back open. So I think this method hopefully is gonna work for long term and he'll be done with the cone soon once it heals. But he's totally fine, he's a happy camper, especially with the soft cone. He's literally like, he just snores is comfy he loves it i don't know if it's the spf coming through underneath it probably is because it's super glowy but my forehead is looking like real dewy still even though this is supposed to be like more i think it's supposed to be more on the matte side oh it says semi satin finish i'm gonna add the house labs powder today just to switch it up because i have been using the givenchy powder a lot to test it the givenchy one you have to really press into your skin to get that like no powder look but this one does look more skin like it's just not quite as blurring as the givenchy one Okay, so for the rest of my makeup, and by the way, whenever I <laughs> do makeup and vlogs, the description box is like way too long. They limit you with the characters, so I might not be able to link everything, but I'm going to link as much as I can. But I put on the Swart Sweet Tart Double Shot Palette. I wet this shade and put it on the lid, and then smudged some of the darker browns. I did end up using the Givenchy powder, actually, because I wanted it a little more matte. But this time I tried pressing it in with a dry powder sponge, and it looks a lot better, like even better. 
I'm continuing to try the Sky High Mascara Primer, and today I tried it with the Benefit Roller Lash. This is just a mini. I don't know if it made like that much of a difference with this specific mascara, but I'll see. And then I put on the Patrick Ta Lip Gloss in full syringe, and a little bit of the Dior Pink Shade of this highlighter. Here's what it looks like. So one of my most asked questions is about the Nike shoes I always wear. They are my only tennis shoe that I brought with me traveling for like the last year. And I can walk miles and miles in them once they were broken in. They're amazing. I've done so much digging on the internet. So the style that I used to have, and by the way, I like totally wore mine out. Like I had to throw them away. They were completely worn through and like trash. Like it was bad because I had them for a couple years and wore them like almost every day. But of course that exact model isn't made anymore it was the low sage it's called i'll put it on here if you can find them on like ebay or poshmark that's the exact style i had i've done so much digging trying to find one that looks exactly the same and it just doesn't exist these are the ones that i bought thinking they were going to be and like they're close they're still platform they do look different on because they have this curve instead of like a straight edge here and they're not quite as high as the other ones and they also go up higher on the front so basically <laughs> It's kind of gross, but I don't know if you can see right here, but they're like digging into my shoe right here. And I've tried to break these in before my next trip. Right here is still really digging into my foot. I love the white Nike look and I want them to be like the faux leather, not canvas. Cause I found Adidas ones that looked good, but they're canvas and those just get super dirty. So I'm gonna, I think still be on the hunt. I've been trying to find my size on eBay or Poshmark, but they have them in other colors, but not white of the old model but i would love to just <laughs> repurchase the exact same ones if possible but wanted to give you an update on that because i do get asked about these all the time all right what'd you uh, just say opening the box he said gluten-free gluten vegan gluten-free vegan vegan <laughs> vegan from vegan now we've got pretzels in hand uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> and now we're about to test in front of everybody these are so good i love these Addicting good. I give these a 10. We're finally having our burrito. <laughs> so this Yay. is the place that we thought when that well it did close down, then they reopened under a new name. I've talked about this in like four videos now. It's actually happening now. We're both getting bean and cheese. I'm drooling thinking about it. We just went on like a three mile walk now getting the burrito. Spending that papa burrito, daughter burrito time together. <laughs> it's gonna be hot, Dad. Mm. Same? I mean, Tastes the same? You gotta put hot sauce, yeah. Yeah, mm. this is the key, the hot sauce. Tastes the same. Good news. So I'm packing for the wedding tomorrow and I'm gonna try to fit everything in here. Like I said, it's pretty big. I feel like you can't even tell on camera, but like it's pretty big. I'll show you the wedding dress I got if I can remember where I actually put it. So it's this really pretty emerald green one shoulder velvet dress that goes all the way down and it has like a slit up the side. This looks really cute. I tried on a lot of different dresses and I could not find one that I liked. And I finally found this one on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're in need of a like affordable wedding guest dress. I found this at TJ Maxx, but it's super sparkly. I also got it, where's the tag? I think I got it on clearance for like 10 bucks, but it's very sparkly, has the gold strap. So I think this with the dark green will look really nice. And then probably wear like gold earrings and just black heels. I think this is the only other bag I'll bring. Obviously I'm very into this <laughs> camel color right now. Definitely gonna be talking about this in my next Raves and Rejects video. This is a total favorite. My friend had this and I ended up ordering it for myself. And then my mom wanted one and then my aunt saw it and she also wanted one. So now my mom has this in black and then I ordered my aunt it in dark green. So you can wear it like this and it just looks so cute with anything. It's a good like walking bag too because it's super tiny and lightweight and it has, I love this pocket right here cause you can slip your phone in right there. So it's easy to pull out, but then it also has built in, I have lip gloss and lip liner in here and a receipt <laughs> but it has built-in card slots which is so nice so you don't have to bring your whole wallet you can just stick your id and card in there and whatever else and it's just the perfect little tiny size i mean it looks cute with a bunch of different stuff and i also kind of want to get it in another color this is like a perfect travel bag too because it's like right on you so there's also a nighttime event which I think is pretty casual. So I might wear the red dress actually, 
or actually today this is supposed to arrive i got it in black too I actually or this dress could be cute this is a little more casual and i know it is really casual the night before it's not like a rehearsal dinner they're doing something else so and i know what the bride is wearing and she's wearing like jeans so i don't want to be actually maybe i should wear jeans then because i don't want to be like too dressy i think i got the clothes down so i'm going to bring just a few these are just t-shirts to wear whenever during the day and whatnot this is the outfit i'm thinking i'll wear for the nighttime dark jeans and then this like leather jacket thing which is lightweight will be indoors since it is actually it just looked up it's gonna be raining the whole time so we'll definitely be indoors and then this like tighter top to wear underneath that or i can wear the white one and then i'll wear it with the same heels that i'm wearing the next day for the wedding by the way i don't think i've ever talked about these but these if you need comfy heels and if you have small feet these fit me perfectly and i can actually like be in them all night i like them down below pink beanie because you know these days i can't go anywhere without my neon beanie and then this will be my drive outfit for tomorrow and then those are the other shoes that i'll wear tomorrow just the nikes and i have like pajamas and then the dresses in there and actually this side pocket is super nice because it's huge so i could fit all of my underwear socks and bra in there it's like a massive side pocket so this would fit everything like totally but i don't want it to be too heavy for me to carry so i am going to bring a backpack too but that'll work out great i'll just have my backpack and i'll bring my laptop and then i have this and i could slide this little purse down the side which i love but i'm just gonna put some of my other stuff in my backpack these are my meds so i ordered some underwear from this brand hoo-ha i can't remember how i found that might have been an instagram ad or something but they have really good reviews and basically they say it's like underwear from the inside out i think is they're saying i saw on the website this is not sponsored i bought this myself but it's underwear that has like anti-bacterial fabric and is supposed to be really good for you Ooh, this is soft so i got a medium in both i hope these are gonna fit low profile thong and i think i got the other thong but i thought i got some more colors maybe they're coming in a separate package but i'm excited to try these they're supposed to be more like breathable the material does feel really nice and soft all right you got your list where is Are it you in your head? Are <laughs> yeah, we're filming. Oh god, I'm live. So no. as a grand finale to this vlog, I figured we would both share some of our New Year's goals for 2023. I broke them already. <laughs> These aren't all of mine. I'm keeping some to myself as I'm sure you are too. Yeah. But Why these are just like kind of don't be looking yet. <laughs> these are just some like minor most mine are mostly just minor ones, I think. Me too. And we're just gonna go back and forth. You're gonna say one, then I'll say one. Okay. Here we go. Be more thoughtful and considerate with my wife. <laughs> Why are you whispering? The one time you're whispering, not yelling. I don't want her to hear. She's, She's in the She's not other feeling room. well in the other room. Yeah. Um, okay, be more thoughtful. Okay. Mine is check the news every morning. I feel like I go through phases where I do that and I like open the news app every morning. Then sometimes I just won't for a few days. So I want to be better about like consistently instead of just going on my phone when I wake up and like going on Instagram, checking the news instead. Listen to what my daughter says before I answer back. <laughs> this is on recording. You I know, know. That, right? I know. I don't listen. I no. talk, start talking because yes. I just am very dominant in talking. Yes. As she's agreeing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyways, try to listen more in the future. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mine's read at least one book a month, which I did last year, actually. I think I read probably closer to two a month. Sometimes it just gets busy with work and then I don't. So I want to stay consistent with one book a month at least. Another one for me is not say the F word as much. Which is so and funny because everyone thinks you're so wholesome on here. Yeah. That's what every no. comment is. He's so wholesome. And like if, if I cut myself, I'll go, oh, F. You know, that's one thing if it's a reaction. But if we're playing cards or just talking about it I, I just don't like doing that i'd like to buy a either cabin or vacation property that i could use and then rent out when i'm not there i think that'd be really fun so i'm trying to decide on where but also just depends on you know certain things the market everything but okay this is one that everybody does at the beginning of every year work out more and i've been doing this for 10 years i've been saying this every january and not one of them ever gone through with it pump iron pump iron Get these string bean bicep arms. They're going to be like Popeye the next time you see Well, I already me got online. a gym membership, so. I got a gym membership, and I went once, and I'm going as soon as we're done with this Today. video. Bye. Bye. Start a new project with, hopefully, I would like to work with Healthwell Foundation again, but with a charity, start a new project like I did last year, and continue that.
That's very nice of you. Stay and continue to be positive. I think that's very important for everybody. Yep. My name is FaceTime and check in with friends more because I really appreciate when friends do that to me. So I want to like be that more to other people. My last one is how I want to have like a single meal and a single drink that I'm like really good at making so that I could either like bring it over to people's houses or whatever or just have that where it's like my go-to thing where I can make it good and quick and it's like my thing that I can make. Good idea. Can't disagree. So those are our 2023 New Year's resolutions, resolutions goals, whatever you want to call it. Some yep. of them. I think I'm going to end off this vlog here. If you guys want to check out Thrive Market, I'll have the link for it down below where you can get 30% off your first order with the link thrivemarket.com slash taylorwin and you get a free gift up to $60. That's where you get your favorite. Chomps. <laughs> Chomps. Really good. I got really you more. Did you sticks. see they're on the counter right now? No. I. Yeah. Oh, she got them. I can't wait. And I put some in the drawer. Okay. Yes. They're good. So you guys can check out Thrive Market down below. Thanks for being in my final segment. Daughter, signing off. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Mm, See you in my next video. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>